So in the last video, we took a good look at how using higher oscillator counts can give us a more complex sonic texture. And that's exactly where we left off and exactly what we're using for the basis of our synth string or synth pad patch here. And now we're going to use filtering and envelope tweaks to push the sound to the next level before we start feeding it through um, Mass's excellent effects section. Um, so I've turned my filter on. You can see it's a low pass. So we're letting the low pass through. We're cutting off high end. It's turned down to about halfway so that it's a little uh, duller. But in fact, I've got some modulation, a modulator, uh, which is envelope number four. You can see the little number four here. And that's turned up pretty much all the way. Now, envelope number four happens to be the one that Massive automatically uses as its amplitude envelope. So I'm using um, the amplitude and filter envelope as uh, one of the same. And this is really to emulate early analog synths, because synths like the Poly 6 used to use a single um, envelope to affect both the filter and the amplitude. And it's quite cool because you get quite a, a nice sort of um, marriage between the two, the, the amplitude and the filter control. So um, I've turned it all the way up here. And currently, uh, um, envelope number four is, is zeroed out. You saw me do that in the last video just to get the patch initialized. Um, but I'll play this back and you should be able to hit, start to hear a difference. So you can hear when I was moving the cutoff, you can hear an effect. And that's because I've got the resonance turned up pretty high. I'm going to knock that back very slightly. Um, but as I start to change the envelope, this is where you're really going to hear the difference. So we had quite a lot of attack dialed in. And also some release. So let's hear that now. So even that small tweak, just by turning the cutoff down a little bit, having that single modulator affecting both the volume and the filter can make quite a large difference to the sound. It makes it more epic. We've got that release ringing out. We've got a little bit of attack for the filter to, uh, for the resonance to take effect. So you can hear two or three moves can make quite a large difference to the sound. Although it's subtle, it is making a difference. And I would suggest that these tiny moves are really the basis of moving between essential patches. If we take that back, the release and the uh, the attack, we've got our lead sound again, more or less. Make these two moves. You can hear that it changes in nature um, pretty drastically. And if we play a chord with this, You can hear we've definitely got a, a synth string like sound and that really is in two moves if you want to make it more uh more of a pad you could make it a little duller so you could bring the cutoff down uh the modulation of the cutoff down and a higher or slower attack sound even slower and you're going to get a more chilled out pad and even less uh cutoff modulation and it's going to become even more chilled So again, another two or three moves, and we're into a, into the territory of pads and uh, chilled out strings. So take the release down, the attack down, take the cutoff modulation back up. So what? Three moves, four moves? Synth lead. So that's what the concept of this essential patches is. If you can do, if you understand this and you can move between the patches quickly, it becomes second nature, and you'll be able to do it in your sleep. So next up. We're going to take a look at um, the effects and really how the effects, again, two or three moves in the effects section can change this um, pretty dry string sound into something really epic. 